here is the scanning electron microscope and what it allows us to do is look at various objects, a huge range of different things in incredibly fine detail. So rather than a normal microscope which has a relatively low resolution, the scanning electron microscope allows us to look at very fine detail with high resolution and high magnification. At a variety of different objects, the most important thing though is it allows us to look at surface features of what we're interested in. So rather than being three the image itself, it allows us to look at surface of different types of objects. One of the areas that we're looking at is fine particulate matter and we can do that looking um, with the additional piece of equipment we have, the EDX or energy dispersive x-ray and that allows us to not only look at the particles themselves under the microscope but actually identify the types of materials they're made of. Other areas we're interested in is in terms of um, entomology, so looking at different types of insects and that's particularly useful for understanding better about the structures of the insects themselves so we can see the fine detail and exactly how they look on the surface. The area that I'm particularly interested in is fibres research, so again for forensic science but also for material science, looking at fine structure on the surface of fibres including say damage or residues that are in there as well. Another area we're particularly interested in pushing the limits of the equipment we're working with is the effect of phage on and antibiotics on bacterial cells. So we can look at the bacterial cells themselves in fine detail and see the impacts of either phage or antibiotics on how they're growing.